Today on All Things 80s, I finally get a Lamborghini Transformer. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, nothing screams the 80s quite like Transformers and Lamborghinis. So what's better than having the two of those combined into one package? So here we have a reissue of Red Alert. And I'm really excited to get hold of this because the Lamborghini is one of my favorite cars of that decade. And to get a Transformer that goes from Lamborghini to robot is just the ultimate 80s toy. So without further ado, let's get this thing opened up, take a good look at it and see what I think of it. So this example of Red Alert is obviously from the commemorative series. We've gone over these before, so I don't need to talk too much about the packaging, except to say that these, along with the Walmart reissues, have been an absolute godsend for me in my quest to collect G1 Transformers, whereby I'm able to get a nice brand new minty fresh Transformer without breaking the bank. And the packaging itself does look great with that window display and the book style cover. But anyway, we're not here to talk about cardboard, we're here to talk about the Transformer toy contained within. So let's get this opened up and get it transforming. Okay, so first things first, this actually looks like a really good representation of the Countach. It's got good weight to it. And actually in car mode, it's absolutely solid. This, oops, <laughs> as this falls apart. But no, in all seriousness, the, the way this has been built, there's no sort of loose parts. You can actually get away with calling this a, almost like a die cast model of a Countach. Fantastic, this is the most, solid Transformer, or Autobot certainly, that I've had so far in that, in car mode, there's nothing flapping around, solid, brilliant. But anyway, I better look at the instructions because we all know how, how bad a time I have of it transforming a, a new Transformer for the first time. And of course we do have some stickers to apply. Um, Again, the, the booklets that came with these uh, commemorative series are not the best. But nevertheless, and it does have a rub sticker. Where though? Hmm. I guess we'll get to that. It didn't come separately, did it? Nah, anyway. I think first things first, we'll get it transformed and then we can apply the stickers. Okay, so now we have it fully transformed. Uh, I've decided to do the stickers at another time because no one needs to see me struggling with trying to apply those stickers. Now, first things first, in Autobot mode, this looks fantastic. I will say though that I can imagine back in the day, a lot of these would have been broken by kids trying to force parts. Um, I like this in the fact that this is the one Autobot I have that I think doesn't require you to turn the torso. So it was a pretty straightforward transformation. Now that I've done it once, I'll be able to do it repeatedly without any problems. Um, nice solid feet that come out here, allowing it to stand perfectly. Um, I'm not sure about the color of the laser rifle here. I'll need to take a look at an original G1 to see if it should be a different color because I've never seen a red rifle before. But all in all, extremely happy with this one and just looks really, really good. Now let's see if I can transform it back again because I do very much like having a classic Lamborghini in my collection. Um, trying to remember what I did here. I think that went back that way. Uh, these feet go up like this. This gets pushed in. And then, oops, something wrong with the 
Ah, oh, there we go. There. Yeah. Not bad. And again, now that it's back in order, it's solid. Now, I've got to say, what fire department has the fire chief driving a Lamborghini Countach to and from emergency? That's something. Um, I will point out, though, that this tailpiece of, of the part of the spoiler comes off pretty easily. And if I remember rightly, um, when uh, Tez from Roland's Reviews was doing a tour of his room, he mentioned that he had bought a Chinese knockoff for one of his G1 Transformers because he was missing one of the tailpieces. So apparently these are very easily lost, which I can imagine being the case. You can see how easily that just came off, so just have to be careful with that. Um, but good, good, good solid car. Ah, there's the rub sticker. I was looking for that right before me. Couldn't even see it, looking straight at it. Um, again, I'm going to repeat myself here, but it's is cold. But yeah, I can see a very slight change. That works. Um, very good. Not sure if this is functioning. Uh, probably not, but that's not really a big deal. And these, um, I'll maybe take one off and load it into this launcher before displaying it. Um, depending on what I find out in terms of what color the original came with, I may use the liquid chrome pen on this to make it look a bit better. Although in all fairness, the red and white paint scheme, it does seem to fit. But yeah, I am really, really happy with this. This might be my most favorite Transformer yet. Because um, one or two I've gotten hold of recently I've not been overly thrilled about, but this one is definitely an exception to that rule. I'm very happy with it. Um, just trying to remember. There we go with this damn tailpiece again. So this is going to be an issue, I think, that I'm going to have to can maybe glue these in place, actually. I don't think it affects anything. So, pull this up, get this back, and get the head up and over. There we go. And I guess straighten the arms out. Yep, very, very straightforward. So isn't it funny how the most straightforward in terms of transforming is also, in my opinion, one of the nicest looking. Superb. So hopefully the other Lambos will be just as easy to transform. So I do have the uh, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe on their way, although Lord knows when they'll get here because I think one of them's coming from Canada. But anyway, really, really happy with this. Um, the um, lights are a bit squint, but there I've just put them back in place. So yeah, once again, another fantastic reissue, and you can call me one happy customer. So that was Red Alert, I gotta say, quite possibly my favorite Transformer yet. Uh, beautiful in car mode and stunning in robot mode. What more can you ask for? So thank you for watching, with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe, and as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.